Do you feel constantly behind trying to edit that content, whether it's your podcast or solo videos for YouTube? Sometimes editing can be the most consuming and difficult part of content creation. And while you could look into hiring an editor, there's actually lots of AI tools that can help you edit both your podcast, your videos, even audio only content in minutes. This way you can focus on creating the best content possible. I'm gonna show you some tools both for editing video podcasts, audio only, and vertical videos like for Reels and TikTok. This way you can spend more time actually creating and less time editing. I publish a video podcast every week and you'll see all of our previous episodes are here all recorded in Riverside. I record with Riverside because you get high quality video and audio every time. It's recorded locally on device, uploaded to the Riverside dashboard, and then I can use Riverside's powerful editing and AI tools to put it all together. So let's jump into my last episode here, episode 51. And when I jump into the recording, I can scroll down and you'll see a single button right here that says full episode. I can just click this one button and now Riverside is gonna do most of the work for me, cutting out filler words, silences, all of that in just a click. So I can go in, make some finishing touches and I can get my entire episode ready in less than 10 minutes. Here's a time-lapse of me editing the full episode of this video podcast in Riverside. And that's exactly what goes up on our YouTube channel right here. And here we are with the full episode. It's automatically cut out some filler words. And when I'm recording in Riverside, one thing I make sure to do is set markers if I know there needs to be an edit. That's these little yellow dots here. And if someone had to get up, go to the bathroom, I'll drop a marker in the Riverside studio just by pressing the letter M. And then I can jump to these points and edit it really fast here in the editor. And actually what I spend the most time on doing is just making sure the chapters are exactly how I want them, which Riverside actually generates all these chapters automatically down here in the timeline. I didn't have to do anything. All I might do is maybe move them to the exact place I want. I can click the three dots and rename a chapter however I'd like. And then I'll copy that chapters list right here this is why I can paste it in my YouTube video description and get chapters over on YouTube that fast. Then I might set the in and out point, which you'll see here if I scroll all the way left in the timeline, Riverside already removed silences. So it's probably starting exactly where I want it. I'll zoom in even further just to double check. And actually it got my intro perfect. I don't even have to edit anything there. If I did want to delete something, maybe there was a bad take or I did the intro multiple times, I can just select text right here in the transcript, which you get every time you record with Riverside, click delete, and I've automatically edited my video and audio. Now my episode is basically ready. I can just go up to export, export in up to 4K video quality, and I have my full video episode ready to go on YouTube and Spotify for creators. And just like that, Riverside is now my editor for my full length video podcast episodes. But if you want a little more hands-on editing, you can actually customize and use different AI tools all built into Riverside. I'm gonna click the edit button up here on this recording, and this is gonna start a new edit from scratch. This is the full recording. No AI tools have been applied yet, but we're gonna go one by one and I'll show you what each one does. Here in the editor, I wanna go up to the AI producer in the top right. And the first thing is set pace. This can remove silences, but not just all silences. It will remove the perfect amount of silence based on your criteria. If you want a really fast conversation, maybe for a vertical video, short or real, you can go all the way to the super fast and Riverside will tell you how many pauses and how much time will be cut from this edit. If this is the full length episode, I like to keep a more balanced approach. I'll click apply and now all the silences are gone. I don't have to go and remove those manually anymore. I can also click apply smooth speech. So any filler words and unwanted sounds are gone in just a click. And it just happened that fast as I was talking. Also, I like to apply magic mute. And if there's any background noise or shuffling, that magic mute will make sure their track is muted while others are speaking. And if someone recorded with a built-in microphone like on a mobile device or their laptop, you can apply magic audio to everyone. It's gonna make everyone's microphone sound studio quality. But I can also go to the next tool, which is the tracks tool. Here I can reorder how people appear in the video if you're doing a video podcast. And then I can click into an individual track, adjust volume, and apply magic audio just to one person's track. So if just one person had background noise or just one person was on their mobile device, enable magic audio just for them and we'll make them sound great. And last, if you wanted to add animated captions, which we're gonna do some vertical videos in a second, I can click the captions tool here on the right. You can save some preset designs if you once you get your colors and font just how you'd like. And now that's right there on the video, I can preview it and our edit is ready once again. Just like that, I've edited it twice over all here in Riverside in minutes. And one other AI tool that does a ton of work for you is if you go to the layout tool, we have our smart scenes feature. When you click smart scenes, Riverside will automatically focus on the active speaker. And if you have multiple people in the recording, show them all on screen in a grid view in between transitions. So as one person gets to the end of their speaking and someone else starts, 
You'll see both on screen for a minute, and then we'll focus on just one speaker. If I zoom in on the timeline, you'll actually see little previews of when we're switching from one person to another. So here it's focusing on me, go forward, and we've automatically focused on me and my co-host. Then when my co-host starts speaking, it focuses just on him, and it goes back and forth throughout the entire recording. So no more manually switching between camera angles, our participants, our Smart Scenes feature did it for you. Then when you're ready to export, you can go up to export and export that 4K video again. Or if you just want an audio version for your podcast host, you can flip over to audio and export an MP3 file ready to go for your RSS audio podcast. Now, the great thing is these tools are available whether you do a video podcast or audio only. I'll jump back into the editor. And if you recorded an audio only podcast, this is what you'll see. You get a full transcript, just like with the video version. You can still edit just by selecting text and then clicking delete here in the transcript. And you still have access to the AI tools like remove silence and filler words. I can go up to AI producer, still use the set pace feature to remove all the silence in my audio only show. And I can remove all the filler words, magic mute, all just for my audio only content. And if you wanna get even more granular in making changes, you can expand the individual tracks. And when you do that, you'll see each participant's audio separately. Then if I zoom in, I can actually choose to adjust the in and out points of a person's audio track, click around. And if I want to, I can even select or delete crosstalk to make sure that the audio is super clean. I can go through each participant, make the changes I want, and then I can collapse the multi-track editor. And if you're doing audio only content, you might wanna add some music. And we have an entire stock music library right here in the Riverside editor. You can add some music. You'll see it appear down here in the timeline. And now that that audio is below our speaking, I can click the three dots, adjust the volume of that background music, lower it to make sure it's not competing with our voices, and even adjust the fade in and fade out of that music track. When I'm done editing the audio version, I can go up to export and export that MP3 file or uncompressed wave if I want the highest quality audio possible. Plus you still get those chapter markers and you can copy them at the three dots, copy the chapters list, and pasting this into many podcast hosting providers, that will create chapters in your episode description that listeners can click and jump to certain points. Now, if you recorded video, Riverside has an amazing tool to quickly reformat it into a vertical clip. I can click here at the top, choose nine by 16, and Riverside will quickly reformat your video. And now you can create lots of vertical clips from your long form video. But we also have an AI tool that makes this even faster. Back here on the project page, if I scroll down right next to that full episode generator button, we have magic clips. When I click generate magic clips, you have several options. You can choose how long you want these vertical clips to be. You can focus on individual speakers, and you can even choose to focus on specific topics. Click generate clips, and now Riverside is gonna create those vertical videos based on the length of your content. And you can see right here from about an hour and a half recording, I just got eight vertical videos ready to go. You'll see many of them are about a minute long. And if I want, I can jump into one of these by clicking edit. Riverside automatically applied those animated captions in the style that I have saved. And I can go further, edit the brand if I wanna change the background image. Most of these are built in, or you can upload your own image to go behind your videos. And you can make your vertical videos even more engaging by overlaying text and images. I can go over here on the right, go to the image tool, search these stock images built right into the editor, click one, expand it to fill the frame. Now I have an image overlay, and I can also add text overlays throughout this clip. Animated captions are also still on the video and I can adjust the length of my image and text overlays. When I'm done, I can go back up to export and I can quickly create multiple vertical videos from Riverside Magic Clips in minutes. Now I can have content that I publish all week long in addition to my full length episode once a week. And one final AI tool that's built here into Riverside. I can go to my recordings files and here you can download the individual video and audio tracks for everyone if you'd like, but we can get your content published fast by generating show notes. With one click, we actually take your transcript and provide lots of sound bites, bullet points, and summaries that you can use in your podcast host when you upload to YouTube and more. We have keywords. This is great to just copy and paste into the YouTube tags field. We have a summary here, which you can use in the description. Some takeaways, maybe bullet points you want to include in your show notes possible titles for this content, and those chapter markers that Riverside automatically generates are right here. Now you can just copy and paste, massage it a little bit, and you have all the text you need to actually publish your content. And if you need a thumbnail image when you upload this to YouTube, we can help with that too. On the same page where you generate show notes, scroll all the way to the bottom and you'll see social snapshots. Now you can download these images, which we took from timestamps in your recording, 
We have vertical and landscape format. You can download it here from your Riverside dashboard and use this as your thumbnail or use these to promote your episode on social media. So those are lots of AI tools that help you edit your content fast so you can keep doing it as a solo creator. And using tools like Riverside is how I grew my YouTube channel to over 100,000 subscribers in just two years. And that's in addition to the videos I make here on the Riverside channel and the video podcast, Primary Technology. If you wanna learn how I do it all as a solo creator, I have a video where I shared the 15 key tips to my workflow. You can check out that video right up here. And if you wanna learn more, subscribe to the Riverside channel and hit that like button because we have lots of tutorials and tips still coming. If you have questions, leave comments below this video. I'd love to help you there. And if you wanna learn more about how to use Riverside to live stream, record, share screen, play videos while you're live streaming and all the powerful tools in the Riverside studio, check out this video right up here. Thanks for watching. We can't wait to see what you create.